You mean there's science behind meditation? Hi, I'm A&T. I'm Eddie. Thanks for joining us at Life Squared. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Yes, there is science behind meditation. Now this is so exciting because a lot of times they don't have money to study it, a subject, right. especially when it's um, new age and, um, you know, kind of considered out there by many. Right, right. And scientists are a little tough. Right. And I will tell you that the conditions were a little stringent. First of all, you had to do it three times a week for 45 to 60 minutes. Ah. And um, they, they did notice, though, after only eight weeks, the brain scan showed an increase in gray matter. You mean 50 shades of gray? 50 shades. Yeah. Oh, no, no. okay. Sorry. Brain matter in your brain. Ah. That's what has us controlling our movement. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, our memories. Yeah, we can use that. We can use some more great matter. Yes, we that. can. And our emotions. And yep. we want to control all those things. Yes, we you do. Know, we, should, we really do. So this is very exciting. Now, um, we've already done a video about why do meditation, but this is purely what the scientists found. Many of the things were the same things that we talked about. There's a couple of new ones, though. Yes, there are. So, number one, it helps with the tension. Now, there's two times in your life you really, really need help with the tension. Once when you're a little kid, yep. and then when you get older. It's oh, yeah, that yes. circle of life. You know? Yes, it is. It's like Lion King. Yes, it is. it is. So, you, you need help with your attention. Gray matter. It helps. Right. Number two. Two. Long-term meditation helps us deal with stress. Now, like I said, the scientists were a little bit stringent. So they they really said long-term. Well, let me tell you, I can feel better about my stress in about a 10-minute session. Yep. That's One 10-minute session. Yep. But the scientists, they wanted more. They wanted to be tougher. Yep. That's just fine. Proved it. Number three, it makes us more compassionate. Uh -huh. Yes, in fact, you can take someone that's somewhat narcissistic and help them to become more compassionate by meditation. Science decided this. They proved now, it. Now, there are a lot of studies and a lot of, you know, I don't know, I think it's, we drew conclusions right. that a narcissist could never become more compassionate, or wouldn't. But if you can get a narcissist to want to become more compassionate, there is hope. Yep. Now, if they reach the level of sociopath, I don't know. I don't know, that's, that's, that starts to get tougher. They yes, just get, get, it gets tougher to get them to try. If they tried, could they? I think so. You bet. Number four, it improves mental health. Mental health being, you know, if you, if you are already healthy, maybe it makes you more healthy, right? Right. Mentally. But what about depression? What about um, PTSD? All those things that help. What about OCD? It sure helped my OCD. I had made a huge difference by me using meditation as a stress relief, anxiety, relaxation, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it works. And we should point out that you, you really never did 45 to 60 minutes. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you did about those 10... 10 to 15 minutes 10 to 15 of the sessions, sessions we did. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, we really like to meditate. Yep. Um, there's lots of good meditations out there. Yes, there are. Um, we're going to talk more and more about that on this network. Yep. Number five, it helps relationships. Couples that meditate together, it, it's really a good thing. We, we like to meditate together. Yes. It, it helps our relationship. It is, it, it's that moment that you can share. It's chemistry. It's moving through the, through the, the 
the fabric, the fabric that connects us all. Ball. You know, and then you can start getting those vibrations going. Um, um, um. Try it. You'll you like might be it. laughing out there, but try it. Try, try it. it together. It's pretty sexy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number six. Reduces bias. Yep. Now think about all the biases and uh, cultural differences. Um, but you know, I, I couldn't help but think when I when I read this about biases that there was once a study I read when I was in school right. about a guy that had a bias against people that wore sandals. I mean, you know, it was like, um, you know, kind of a, like a racism kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know what he had against toes, dirty feet. I, I, I don't, I don't really remember. It's been a long time since I read a case study, but when I read this, that the scientists had decided, yes, in fact, it does reduce biases. I'm like, ooh, what happened to that sandal guy? He needed it. He needed, he needed it. it for sure. It surely would have helped him. Right. Number seven. It helps some with physical health. The impact they thought was smaller yeah. than some of these other items that we've discussed. Um, I really think it helps with physical health. I... Don't know how they quantitated it, but we're, we're talking about what the science has found. Not really what we found, um, but I believe it's a little bit more impactful than they thought it was. Yes, it is. Um, number eight. There are some people that have negative issues with meditation, especially when you talk about traditional meditation where you, you go deep inside yourself. And that, for one, would be a seizure patient. Yes. Um, and some sorts of mental health issues. Right. So if you are a seizure patient, please talk to your neurologist. Be careful. Yes, be careful. Again, we can't stress enough how awesome meditation is. Yes. Please try it. You'll like it. It's free. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. Do it. Thanks for joining us here at Life Square. Yeah. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.